All right, welcome back, guys. This next video, like as promised, I'm going to show you my exact PC build, uh, which is focused entirely on um, AI, ML, and DL uh, mindset. Um, not at all for gaming, although this thing kicks ass as games, but that's only because of the GPU. Um, excuse me. Uh, so, without further ado, let me show you this bad boy. All right, so let's see if I can do this justice. Crap, that is a bright sun out today. So I'm going to take the case off in just a second. You can see we got some little fancy glowing lights. Uh, some people might get excited there with the uh, G the, the uh, GTX, and you can see I got quite a bit of RAM there, and I'll explain that to you in just a moment. But what I will do, let me also bring the blinds down just a bit. See if that's better for you guys. I'm gonna blow this up so you get a bit more. Let me take off the top screws here. All right. So this is a tempered glass case on both sides. Nothing fancy, but I wanted a large ATX case um, to fit everything that I wanted to put in it. So I'm going to try to tilt this thing down so we can see what the hell's going on because that light coming in from behind is crazy. So we have 128 gigs of uh, DDR4 RAM. Now right there, some people are going to be saying, why the hell do you have 128 gigs? Uh, and it's quite simple. Many of the data sets I use, again, I said in the previous video, one of the focuses is going to be on the uh, financial markets. So some of my data sets alone can be uh, 60 gigs and something that you may or may not know is that a lot of the algos in Python even it's going to be single threaded uh, It makes a copy of the copy sometimes when it's doing particular um, Calculations which means I'm already up to 120 gigs in RAM. So there's my answer for that Most people do not need that. We have the uh, NZXT AIO cooler on there. I think it's a 340 um, underneath that is the Intel 6850k so not the fastest, not many cores. The reason was is that what we do with AI MLDL is not CPU intensive, even TensorFlow using the GPU, but I did need the PCI Express lanes. Uh, so I went with that. If I was building a system today, I most likely wouldn't do that. And I'll explain to you exactly what my next build is going to be and why. Uh, we got an Asus uh, Rampage, uh, I think it's the 10 edition. Um, way more overkill from what I wanted, but I wanted a particular M.2 port, uh, which I don't even know if we'll get to see. Um, straight to the right here, we just have three uh, really cool blue fans that came with the case. They actually do a really good job of, uh, of, of clearing out the heat. Um, in the back here, you'll see another radiator fan. If we follow that down, do, 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 you can see we have the GPU. Sorry for this. Not the easiest thing in the world. So the GPU that I'm using is the NVIDIA Titan XP, the one that came out in April of 2017. Um, the primary reason for that, and I, it is overkill for most people, uh, if, if a, someone was just getting started in AI ML and DL, then I would say get the 1080 Ti. It'll do it incredibly well. Um, but the reason I went with this is because of the one extra gig of RAM. For some of my computer vision projects that I do, that one gig makes a big difference. Um, enough for me to justify the cost of what I'm doing. There, the water cooler that is on here was not put on by me. I was not about to mess with that. So um, Steve from Gamers Nexus, uh, excellent channel, by the way, for hardware review. Uh, check it out. Um, he was kind enough to install that for me and send this bad boy back. And uh, so locked and loaded. Uh, plenty more PCI Express ports down below, which I'm not going to be utilizing. Yeah, I'm most likely not going to be using on this board. Um, and can you see... You can't really see it, but there is an M.2 drive back in the case. I'm just put this here for the rest of this. There's an M.2 drive in the back of the case. That is a terabyte. Um, and with that, then there is also two SSD drives, also terabytes, in the back of the case. Um, there's not much of a speed difference, believe it or not, between M.2 and uh, SSDs, even though they have... Um, 
publish differences, there's not a heck of a lot to it, um, if you ask me.